Well, hey, buddy. Uh, thanks for stopping back again. Uh, we're overhauling, and I'm Chase, and it's Tyler, and this is Buddy. And you see Brummy in the back, and Abigail will probably show up sooner or later, right? So they are the food critics, and uh, we have an MRE here, and uh, I don't know if it's considered an MRT or just a mountain house. Um, well, the brand is Mountain House. You can consider it MRE, you can consider it just freeze dried, or what's most commonly known as I would say is astronaut ice cream. Yeah. So we've got an ice cream sandwich, and we have pizza. a freeze or uh, MRE pepperoni pizza. Right. So I'm very curious about this, and this was four dollars. Yeah. And this was again three ninety five. So same. So four dollars for each. Uh, so I figure for the pepperoni pizza, uh, we're gonna cut it into quarters, and I want to try just how it is right out of the package, and then I figure we'll cook it for just a couple of minutes, at least try to warm it up, yeah. something, and then we'll try it again, and uh, maybe in between the two, we'll try our uh, ice cream here. So let's break into the pizza. It doesn't look exactly like a piece of pizza. Excuse me, you have to get down, excuse me. Someone smells pizza. Yeah, I know it smells good. Well, whatever it is, it's very brown. I I want I think I've had one MRE pizza before. And I think it looks pretty similar. Uh here is what's left. We got the just a two quarters. Gotta cut up a little bit here. Yeah. We've got half one gram. toaster oven, and then we've got a couple of strips here. These so. are right out of the pack, so they're cold. And, and they're pepperoni pizza, they say. Feel pretty doughy. Does smell like dough and pizza. I don't really get pizza. I get a, I get a little pepperoni hint there, that's all. A little sauce. Yeah, if anything, sauce. Cheese right so, but yeah. not much else. Okay, but okay. But calm down. Everybody's Everybody so everybody excited. Everybody's oh, yeah. so excited. Okay, come down. We, so, oh, don't move. Right, so here, here we go. Bite for us. Ready? Tastes like cold pizza. It tastes like leftover pizza if you left it out for like two days. Yeah. But it was still soft. Like really soft. Yeah, it's very soft. Because it's not like, because normally when you leave pizza out it gets hard. But this is very... Very soft. It's like if you left pizza out for two days, but it was like regular bread. Old. Yeah, regular bread. Yeah, regular bread. It's like the softest of bread, but the pizza flavor if you left it out. It is days. edible. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I ate almost my entire bite, and the only reason I didn't finish is because the rest is going to bad face right there. But they ate it. Could still. So, the other one's in the toaster oven, right? Yep, so we've got the other half in the toaster oven. We're gonna let that go for a few minutes. You might hear a dink somewhere. Careful, I hate Next, we have our ice cream sandwich mm, here. Nummy. So, now, I've had mo most of the MRE foods we have tried before, or but I don't think we've ever really done a dessert like this before. No. So, yeah. And Mountain House has always been pretty good to us. So yeah. open it up and it, it's still in the ice cream bar. Sandwich type packing. It's not cold now. This is no, room this is just been room temp. It's so always been like this for right off the shelf. We've yeah. had we've actually had this for probably at least two to three months. Yeah. So sorry, a little broken in half, but it's very solid. It sounds like two pieces of like almost wood or ceramic. Like yeah, some, but yeah. But. Awesome. Okay. Ready? Yep. Cheers. But very hard. I like that. It's cookie esque. Well, I like that because, well, I I personally I have sensitive teeth, so things that are too crunchy I don't like, and things that are either too hot or too cold I don't like. Because they're all they're all shocked my teeth, but this is like no chocolate for the dog. Just the ice cream. It's not it's not too crunchy. It's not real hard. It, it's kind of a light crispy kind of crunchy, and then you still get like the creaminess of the ice cream as you chew. But yeah, like as you chew, it kind of all comes on. But but you don't get any of the the cold, which I know I'm sure most people it's their favorite part. Of the Told you you'd hear it, Dan. But for most people, I'm sure the cold is probably part of their favorite part of the ice cream. But if you were like camping or in any sort of survival situation, oh, definitely doable. Very good. Are you, uh, this would be 
I mean, this is currency right here. No. Yeah, it's really good. Mmm. It's kind of, um, I was going to say like wafer or cookie like. And I feel like firmer than a Ritz cracker, but not much. I feel like it's like a mix between like a wafer and like a Lucky Charms marshmallow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, good Lucky Charms marshmallow. Yeah, it's like right. It's it, it's crispier than a Lucky Charms marshmallow, but it still kind of has that soft, especially when you chew it, fluffiness. Bit. Yeah. Um, a lot of this stuff doesn't go. Mo most of it goes eaten. Um, doesn't usually go completely eaten, and some things do go to the side. Mm -hmm. This is getting finished. Yeah. I'm not a big ice cream sandwich person, it's because I can't eat them because I have really sensitive teeth, so I can't bite down on the ice cream. But these are good. But this, mm -hmm. I can absolutely do. How much was that? Uh, Three ninety-five. Well, it's a little much for an ice cream sandwich, but it was good. It is, but it's an ice cream sandwich that you can take anywhere. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. you don't have to. It, it's not yeah. something it does, you can you only do. enjoy it at home. At a certain, you can take, you can leave it in your car. Hey, I missed and, the, I missed the soft, melty yeah. ice cream part of it. <laughs> Again, you know, like it's, it is different. It's, mm -hmm. it's not the same as a regular ice cream sandwich, mm -hmm. but for what it is, okay. I think it's very delicious. Tastes like one and cook. Yeah. It's, you know, that's I, that's all. And the best part is, is I got no chocolate on my fingers, no ice cream, no nothing, not I sticky. That, no. I don't want to be good. sticky. I give it two thumbs up. All right, so let's get our pizza out of the toaster oven. oven. Let's see what happens. So, back. Okay, so we only had it in the toaster oven for just a couple of minutes. You you heard the bell go off there. Uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to warm it up cook it a little bit because I mean realistically if you are eating this somewhere out in the wild you're really probably not going to be able to warm it up guess your only source of heat is going to be maybe a fire and I've never tried to hot cook, rock yeah tried to cook a, a hot, hot rock out there yeah, and so, warm it up a little bit that's about it so likely you're just going to be eating it the way it is right out of the package we have their attention though but we still want to give it a shot yeah. you can tell the cooked pepperoni definitely is a little bit more aromatic yeah. Gets a little bit more attention, but so we're gonna try it again here. Right. So it's a little warm, it's a little hot. Well, uh, you know, I haven't taste the flavor of course change. No, but it does make it taste more like pizza when it's hot. You know, I mean, I'm not a big cold pizza lover. I love pizza, but warmed up, yeah. I, at most, I like room temperature pizza. I really like cold pizza. Like if we bought a pizza and you leave it sitting out for a half hour, I'll still go back to it pretty happily. But again, perfectly edible. Uh, and one that I'd still recommend because you know it's something that you definitely could eat with no problem. Yeah, don't take up a lot of room. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty you know it's a pretty it was a pretty small package here. There's a card or anything on um, it. Yeah, that's my name. We're include them in our videos, but it, you know, it's it's you know, it's not a bad flavor by any means. All four of us agree. Yep. And uh, yeah, between the pepperoni pizza and the ice cream sandwich, I'd say you could make a pretty decent meal out of that. Yeah. I did quick. Uh quick on the go thing to have. Yeah. I guess you know, I guess, you know, the the pizza was. Uh, I'd say negligibly better heated up. Yeah. So I mean. So that like my pizza warm. You like you know I'm like you know it, it like it was better warmed up, but I mean still good. If you gave it to me the other way, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't throw it away. Yeah. I would you know. If there was hunger, was an issue. Be it gone. So if you handed me that piece of you know that slice of pepperoni pizza and that ice cream sandwich, I'd be, I'd be a, a happy camper slash survivor. Yeah, all good. I definitely recommend. As Both of them are good. Always, we'll be back with plenty more. Uh, we recommend you definitely pick up a couple of both of these because, especially the ice cream sandwich. Yeah, good. But recommend you pick up a couple of these. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye. Bye.